dive deeper into the Apple numbers and bring in Dan Ives from Webbush Securities, Ross Gerber from Gerber Kawasaki. Ed Lee is still with us from the New York Times. Ed Lee, I'll start with you. What's your take? Well, I mean, they beat on all the on all the figures. That, that was uh, pretty amazing. I think, as our others had said, the, the guide is the more important thing. Um, and I, I think, you know, all the pressures that they've been facing in China doesn't seem to have quite cut in. I do think when they do come out with their 5G phone sometime next year, that's when they're going to have the real bump. Uh, and also, I think Tim Cook is right. I mean, the, the service itself isn't real. It's still nascent. It's not something that's uh, widely applicable just yet. So having the phone is nice. But if there's not stuff to kind of take advantage of that network, uh, it, there's kind of no point. So I think they might end up hitting it at the right time, despite the fact that they're behind everyone else in terms of releasing their 5G phone. Dan Ives, you were bullish coming into this print uh, in terms of the numbers we've gotten. And there's a lot to like here, it would seem. What's the key takeaway from you initially? Yeah, Goldilocks quarter, in my opinion. I mean, in terms of just iPhone numbers, I think you read into this. I think China demands about 15, 20 percent above expectations on iPhone 11. It's a conservative guide I think they're going to be. And I think you put it together right now, you know, it just shows the install base is starting to upgrade. You look at those margins, as John talked about. To me, this is a stock that is just in the middle innings and moving higher. And I think as a bull, to me, it's a Goldilocks scenario. Ross, where do you stand? Yeah, you know, I'm going to have to agree with Dan. Um, you know, we're long-term holders of Apple, and Tim seems to really be guiding the ship well, you know, playing it safe, but really making – the business hum and and we really love what they did with iPhone by having a lower price point and that's going to pay off for Apple and then putting Apple TV in as a kicker to buying products is also going to help them in the Christmas season so so we we think they're going to have a good end of the year and I, I think the market's anticipating that and so we're excited John, I, we haven't even gotten Apple TV Plus yet. I mean, you and I were talking about it earlier today. We did see services grow 18%. I know you said that's you know that's a bigger story further down the road, but I mean that's still that's still strong numbers. I'm blown away by Apple's execution here. They had so much working against them. The narrative was sort of well, they don't have 5G. They've got trouble in China, which is an important market for them. They potentially have trouble in the U.S. because of tariffs. Uh, can Apple innovate anymore? People aren't upgrading iPhones. Blah 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 and yet they beat and they do it with strong margins and they guide with confidence there's a lot to be said there I mean yes the services story is something that Apple has wanted to focus us on this year and by us I mean the investor the financial community but this is really an iPhone story when, when you're talking about what you show me and that's what Apple is showing us here is that they are actually selling these iPhones the demand is there both in the US and in China and they've managed to kind of see through all the fog and, and ship them out. Mike, we're pushing 250 bucks yeah. on, on the stock. I mean, really breaking out. It is breaking out. I, I think that the only thing that restrains the stock from here is the fact that it's more expensive than it's been in years. I mean, it's got a premium valuation based on forward earnings right now. You probably have the street is expecting next year's numbers to go up. It's a $275 billion revenue company as of next year, which means it can't, I mean, exactly how fast can they continue to grow uh, from there? And I think that's the only restraint on it. It's not about what's happening at the companies, but what the market is already built in at these levels.